Today, we're gonna be talking about toothpaste. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to my channel, Ask Coach K, where you can get all your questions answered about health and wellness. If this is your first time to my channel, please like and subscribe below so they can get all your questions answered, anything regarding health and wellness. I'll do my best to research and get you the best information possible that I have on the subject. If you're new to me, I have reviewed products for the last 15 years. I've been in the health and wellness industry for over 23 years, and I just like reviewing great products good quality, mostly organic, and sometimes do it yourself. Today, we're gonna to be talking about toothpaste. About 12 years ago, I decided I was buying way too expensive toothpaste and upwards of $12 just to get good quality toothpaste. Some of the ingredients in toothpaste cause cancer, unfortunately. Triclosan being one of those, and it's just one of those known carcinogens. Another one is sodium lauryl sulfate, otherwise known as SLS, and the byproduct of that is also carcinogenic. In addition to the fluoride and the other ingredients that are in toothpaste, I just felt like we could do a better job. And worst case scenario, if I don't like how it comes out or if our breath still stank, <laughs> then we will go ahead and just go back to buying toothpaste. So all the ingredients are simple products that you probably already have in your house. And if not, don't cost an arm and a leg for you to get. It will last you for a long time, so you don't have to be rebuying these things all the time just to make sure that your breath smells well. So in the next part of this video, I'm just gonna show you how I whip up some toothpaste that suits our needs. All right, so we're making toothpaste. These are all the ingredients that you need. You really could use any one of these things individually, especially this uh, baking soda or coconut oil to brush your teeth, but we wanna make an experience because we're just used to brushing our teeth a certain way. So I'm gonna just put three tablespoons of baking powder. You just wanna do equal parts, so it doesn't really matter how much you decide that you wanna use, just use equal parts baking soda and equal parts coconut oil. Okay. And then I like to put Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Again, something you can brush with your teeth by itself, but it makes it nice and foamy the way we know how our toothpaste should be. Okay, I put a tablespoon of that. Here's some vegetable glycerin, and this is a humectant. So just make sure that you don't get dry mouth, and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that. Now, if you don't like the taste of the coconut oil, just get unrefined. I'm sorry, you're gonna get refined coconut oil. Okay, again, you can stop there. However, we want it to be nice and minty, so we'll use some 20 drops of peppermint oil. Okay, and just because it's my business and because we got viruses going around, we're gonna use a couple drops of this clove oil, which is like another anti bacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Same thing with the tea tree oil. This doesn't have a little dropper, so I'm just gonna put a couple drops of that in there. Then you stir it all up. And now you have your toothpaste. You can use a little, tiny little spatula to get it off and put it on your toothpaste for every time that you go in there. And this should last you about two weeks at least. If you have any questions or have a certain way that you like to make your toothpaste or a certain favorite toothpaste brand that you like, go ahead and comment below. Otherwise, there you go. Nice, fresh breath. So that's it, guys. That's all you need to make your own toothpaste. Again, every one of these products alone can give you a great result, but we want an experience when we brush our teeth. We want our breath to smell good all day long. And I have found that with the change that we've made, I totally like it better than any other toothpaste that I've ever tried. As a matter of fact, my eight-year-old, he won't even use regular toothpaste that other people have. I have to package him up a small little package of uh, toothpaste when we go on vacation. So anyways, he loves the toothpaste. If you need it to taste a little bit sweet, you can always add a little bit of honey or stevia or some kind of other organic non-GMO ingredient to make it sweet. But over time, since we've been using it, 
we found that that wasn't an ingredient that we absolutely needed, so it's not in our thing. If you make your own toothpaste, I would love to know your thoughts. What kind of ingredients do you add? Or what's your favorite organic, really great toothpaste that you use? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do it now.